okay guys so today with us is tejas deshpande so he did his full time and currently is doing his full time in oracle so we'll uh, let him introduce uh, so uh, tejas can you introduce yourself and let us know uh, what role are you in oracle like what's your role hi i'm tejas deshpande i'm currently working at or uh, at oracle as an application developer uh my job includes creating frameworks and developing applications for oracle as a product and oracle will further sell those product to other companies i did my btech in nirmal university as an electronics and communications engineering but my uh, actual liking was in computer science and i pursued that field okay so uh, so uh, we will start from the question that uh, juniors uh, have that when before they go to corporate world they have some expectations ke ye ye hoga but uh, then they have like when you go to company it's a, a bit different and your expectations are a bit not met or you know i don't but it it's a bit changed so can you uh, let us know were there any changes in your expectation what you expected and what really was there yeah actually so when when i encounter when i joined the company and did one to one with my seniors and had a chance to talk with my seniors i got to know it's comparatively way easier uh, as the job is way easier than i had in mind uh, everyone knows that they are uh, that you are a fresher you don't know anything and their expectations are similar unko pata hai ki tumhe kuch nahi aata unko wo sab sikhayenge tumhe aur tum unke paas jaoge wo bilkul bina judge kiye tumhe sab bata bhi denge i sas great to hear and uh, so uh... when you get stuck in your work like tumko koi kaam diya you get stuck and like do managers or full time they really help you for that work or you have to figure it out yourself like do they really help you yeah i mean they are very 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 helpful i mean it generally depends on your managers who are your seniors but where i work in oracle they are very helpful they are very kind great 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 and uh, so do they really start in starting they will give you training because what is the scene when someone joins as an intern in starting they give some trainings and then they give the real work of the project so there is some internship period but as you directly joined as a full time in full time in oracle so they do did they give some training to you or like it was starting of work like they put you in real projects from starting or no no they are they are i am currently in my training phase they are teaching me like the basics of java and j2e so they will start from the very basics like what is if else what is for loop so it's fine they will give you training after i join my team they will again give me training about what happens in the team so like the first 3 uh, to 6 months are training uh, next question is uh, how is your like uh, it's a hybrid model like work from home and office or it's only work from office like in how, how many days a week do you go to office so in my initial training period uh, it's every day is office five five out of seven days are office two are holiday but when i join the team it's according to team so if a uh, team is like it depends on the team if they follow hybrid if they follow work from home if they follow work from office so basically it's be, uh, on team like if team wants you to come every yeah, day it you depends on the team okay okay yeah. and how does your work look like do you sit all day and code or it's more of a meeting thing you mostly you have meetings you understand the project and then you or it's like only coding 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 it's like 50% coding 50% meeting that sort of thing okay okay and how's your work life balance like uh, do you also need to work on weekends or it's fine you work 5 days and uh, in weekend you can like work on yourself and do something else the work life balance in oracle is very good uh, i see people coming at 9 10 9 10 30 11 30 so it really depends on when you want to join and when you want to go i see people like playing tt carrom chess and like they work uh, for uh, like 8 hours and you aren't expected to work at weekends so the work life balance is pretty good in oracle Great, great, great to hear. And like, do you, they give you uh, options for what location of office do you like, Bangalore or Ahmedabad or like whatever? So do they give you options, or it's like wherever your team is, you need to be there only? Yeah, it, wherever your team is, you need to be there. They won't give you options of location. Okay, okay. And uh, can you let us know uh, the roadmap that you followed, like by which you cracked this interview? Like, from when did you start, and like, how did you go for it? because i know uh, you so, are my batchmate so you are uh, really good at coding and all from uh, very starting so let us know 
so i mean i had like interest in coding since i was like a kid since 6th standard uh, i started preparing for interviews when i was in like near around 4th uh, semester i started uh, studying dsa for like around 6 months i got pretty good in dsa and then switched to coding competitions started giving coding competitions and just grinding lead code over and over and over and i think that is also enough to crack pretty much all interviews i'd say so what all platforms did you go for coding like it's lead code only or like what other platforms did you use yeah so i mean uh, geek for geeks has like notes you can refer that uh, there is lead code you can do uh, coding questions uh, there is hacker rank hacker earth and uh, code chef that's it that's all i did does the programming language really matter like uh, if you i think you were uh, in into python and also like uh, in interviews to the yeah. prefer like specific language or it's fine if you have good command in any one language no nah, it's fine if you you can code in any language in any interview it's fine they don't uh, require to you require you to know a single language i mean i gave interview in oracle they, they didn't ask me to code in java so i mean it's fine you can okay, so in language. whatever language you give your interview but then if your team needs different language they'll give you training and then mm-hmm. you can switch yeah yes okay. so can you describe the uh, coding rounds and uh, like how did you, not the exact questions but like what was the process of it how many rounds and what was it about uh, this was an on campus opportunity so i had to give three rounds each were around 30 to 45 minutes uh, the first round included uh, like basic cs fundamental questions like uh, describe the four pillars of oops and uh, how does hash map work how does hash set work how hash set works etc i was asked two coding questions uh, one was around uh, sorting and other was around binary search um, i cleared that round the second round was uh, i had to check whether a string was palind- can be made palindrome or not uh, i had to do that in three different approaches um, and it ended with a puzzle a basic simple puzzle uh, third round was uh, third was was taken by the senior director of uh, the Oracle Gandhi Nagar where i work currently now and uh, the in, the question was to solve or validate a, a sudoku solution and that's it that's all they asked okay 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 great and uh, uh, whatever subject you learned in college were they really helpful to you in that corporate life or like how was it uh no i wouldn't say they were helpful since they already teach you from basics in job anyway so i mean i would say keep your basics strong just keep like don't fail any subject just keep your gpa above 7.5 and it's fine They'll yeah and what was the know. gpa criteria to get into oracle like was there any threshold like above it uh for oracle it was 7.5 and generally for all companies coming to uh, coming into your campus that would be 7.5 uh, it would be enough if you keep your uh, gpa above 7.5 that would be enough great great and uh, so and uh, do they uh, do some discrimination like uh, i've seen some companies when they hire from uh, nits or iits the package they give to that college students is a bit higher than what they give to private college or tier 3 college uh, students so did you see any uh, such thing in oracle no i uh, the people hired with me or uh, like 40 40 uh, students were hired with me all of us had the same package so i mean i didn't see anything here okay okay and uh, okay so what's the last advice that you would like to give to juniors like uh, so that they would like like they could follow uh i mean follow your passion just keep coding uh, keep refreshing your cs fundamentals keep grinding lead code and you will uh, clear any interview okay okay so yeah that was a very insightful podcast thank you tejas for joining us and hope thank we'll you. see you again bye yeah sure bye mm-hmm.